Princess Diana's mother was forced to give up her children in a bitter custody battle which damaged the people's princess mentally, a shocking tell-all documentary has revealed. A Netflix series, Royal House of Windsor, delves into Princess Diana's childhood, which was a contributing factor leading to the untimely demise of the marriage of the Prince and Princess of Wales. The documentary's narrator, Guam Lee, said, Diana's neediness stemmed from a troubled childhood. A witness to her parents' acrimonious divorce, she and her siblings were the subject of a bitter custody battle. As a result, Diana's mother had to give up her children. Diana later admitted she had been haunted by the crunch of the gravel as her mother departed. The princess was reported to have wept for hours on end, and berated her husband about his former mistress, Camilla Parker Bowles, in the oppressive atmosphere of the royal court. The prince had dated Camilla in the early 1970s, before allegedly dating 20 women over the next decade in an attempt to move on. M's Parker Bowles was not believed to be a suitable match for the Prince of Wales due to her background as Charles was expected to marry someone with no past. In a groundbreaking interview with Panorama in 1995, after Charles and Diana had separated, the People's Princess revealed there were three of us in her and Charles's marriage and that it was a bit crowded. Penny Jr., royal biographer, said, she was damaged, mentally, by her experiences. And then moving into the royal family was the worst possible scenario that she could have found for herself. The Prince and Princess of Wales found themselves elevated to the world's most admired couple in the 1980s. The pair were mobbed wherever they went. But this led to the princess having terrible tantrums, terrible mood changes, went into rages, floods of tears, Ems Jr. added. Charles didn't know what the hell had happened and he thought that in some way, it must be his fault. Princess Diana struggled with the constant press attention. And during their 1981 tour of Wales, she burst into tears and refused to get out of the car. Royal expert Sally Bedell Smith said, One of the saddest aspects of Diana's short and turbulent life was the failure of those around her, friends and family alike, to convince her to obtain treatment for her extreme symptoms of mental instability. Meghan Markle has previously described herself as a foodie. But which of her favorite foods will Meghan have to stop eating while she is pregnant? The wife of Prince Harry has been vocal about her love of food, wine and the art of cooking in the past. She once told Today, being from Los Angeles, I was conditioned to like Baja-style food from the womb. Meghan also shared her own recipe for making fish tacos at home. Grill some peppers and onions and a couple fillets of fish, a flaky white fish works best. Season everything with salt and pepper, a little lime and stuff it all inside of a warm corn tortilla. Few bites of food make me happier than that. Megan also described perfect sushi as an essential part of her healthy diet to eye swoon. The 37-year-old often posted pictures of her omelette inventions on her now-deleted social media accounts. Meghan even named her lifestyle blog the Tig after her favorite tipple, Tignanello Wine. Daniel O'Shaughnessy, director of nutrition at The Naked Nutritionist, warned some of Meghan's favorite foods could cause adverse health effects to her unborn baby. He said, sushi and raw fish and shellfish can cause several infections such as parasites and bacteria infections. These can cause adverse health effects and harm the fetus. Pregnant women are advised to limit seafood to twice per week due to the possible mercury contaminants. Pregnant women are also advised to avoid drinking completely as it increases risk of miscarriage and stillbirth. Even a small amount can impact the baby's brain development. It can also lead to fetal alcohol syndrome which causes facial disfigurement, heart defects and learning disabilities. Mr. O'Shaughnessy added it is important to ensure foods are cooked correctly in order to avoid risks to the baby. He said, consuming undercooked meat increases the risk of toxoplasma, E. coli, listeria and salmonella. Raw eggs can be contaminated with salmonella. In rare cases this can cause cramps in the uterus leading to premature birth or stillbirth, which can include mayonnaise and other. Salad dressings. Organ meat can be eaten once per week as it can be very nutritious. However, 
It can lead to vitamin A toxicity if eaten too much, which can lead to birth defects. Also limit caffeine to 200 mg per day which is about 2 cups of coffee. This passes to the fetus which it is not developed enough to metabolize it. This can lead to low birth weight risk. Straight out of a romantic comedy, y'all. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle looked so in love during a torrential downpour in Dubbo on Wednesday, October 17. The newlyweds, who recently announced they're expecting their first child together, are currently in the middle of a 16-day tour to Fiji, Donga, New Zealand, and of course, Australia. Meghan looked lovingly at her man while holding an umbrella over him during a speech and he reciprocated the same facial expression in a separate pic. I mean, come on. This these two are just too adorable. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, shared their exciting baby news on Monday, October 15 right before beginning their first leg of the tour. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Kensington Palace revealed in a statement. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. The, literally perfect-looking, couple attended the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank on Friday, October 12 and Meghan was super sneaky about hiding her baby bump at the special event. I knew she was pregnant when she wore that massive coat over, the weekend. One user commented on Twitter. I knew Meghan Markle was pregnant when she wore the coat dress to Princess Eugenie's wedding, added another. While hindsight is 2020, the Duchess of Sussex often wears figure-flattering ensembles, and the billowy number seemed a bit odd. In fact, the former Suits actress totally distracted us from her bump just three weeks before announcing the news, by changing up her hairstyle. Instead of rocking her typical curly hair, Meg opted for a sleek straight do, and naturally, the press went wild. After all, it's not every day that a royal decides to switch up her signature hairstyle. In fact, the Duchess sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, seemingly did the same thing when she was pregnant. Back in September 2017, a Twitter user theorized that Kate uses her hair to distract the media from her growing belly. Pattern as Duchess of Cambridge changes her hairstyle, people concentrate on her head, and, then, she, announces, the, pregnancy, they wrote. Interesting. Speculation aside, one thing's for sure, Harry and Meghan are so freaking in love it hurts. Also, their baby is gonna be drop dead gorgeous. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced on Monday they are expecting a baby, but did the news cause Princess Eugenie to disappear from her own wedding? Meghan Markle is pregnant with her first child, an official announcement from Kensington Palace on Monday declared. The full statement read, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. Meghan and Harry married in a lavish ceremony in May and have wasted no time in starting a family. Despite the official announcement coming on Monday, October 15, rumors have been rife the pair announced their pregnancy to family members on Friday at Princess Eugenie's wedding. But a source close to the family says most of the family actually knew about the pregnancy before the wedding. The Queen and Prince Philip, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, and Eugenie and Jack had all been told the happy news before Eugenie's big day. And as they hadn't seen them in person yet, they were only able to congratulate them on the wedding day. But U.S. gossip website Radar Online has claimed a source said the announcement tangered Eugenie. And because of this, Princess Eugenie made herself absent from the wedding for a while. The insider claimed, Eugenie disappeared for a while after Harry and Meghan told the royal family the news. Any bride would have had their nose put out of joint by something like that. 
This comes as the Daily Star also reports Eugenie was upset by the news saying the Queen's granddaughter was left on the brink of tears due to feeling as though her wedding had been overshadowed. However, another Seuss told the Daily Mirror Eugenie and Jack were thrilled for them both when told about Meghan's pregnancy. The Mirror stated a royal aide insisted of the timing of the announcement, Harry and Meghan would never dream of stealing Eugenie and Jack's thunder. The senior palace source added. Everyone is hugely excited about the news. The whole family are very happy they were all able to congratulate the couple in person before they left for their first major overseas tour. Meghan and Harry are currently in Australia on their first major royal tour since marrying in May. The triple see them spend time in New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga after Australia.